So, next, what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Tier 5. We're going to do that in the ME210. Unfortunately, it is not 410. It is... It is the atrocity of an aircraft. But, uh, before we go, let's actually, uh... Mount some things on this, because I have money now. This can hold bombs. So, let's see here. Right, 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 okay. I had to equip it here. Right. And now we have two 500 kilogram bombs, right? Well, they're 500, so I'm assuming they're 500 kilogram bombs because of German aircraft. But they're, you know, they're effective bombs. We have two, uh, we have turrets in the back. That's a good thing. But we have two uh, 7.92 millimeter MG5, MG17 machine guns, which are little piddly things. But we do have MG515s. Or 151s, sorry. That they're actually, you know, a fairly respectable armament for any plane of, like, the middle tiers. If we go go by War Thunder standards. And we have turrets on the back, which probably sh would be a little bit more useful than they are in War Thunder. If anybody has flown the 410, you will... Uh, the, the, the rear turrets are placebo. They're bad. But let's see what we have, for, have for equipment here. Right, let's see here. Okay, so we have a actually a sizable level of equipment here to actually use. Let's see, improved aircraft polish, maximum airspeed, 25% to acceleration in a dive. We make the plane super smooth, so I'd go super fast. Yes. We have anything 50% to bomb and rockets are accuracy. I don't think we really need accuracy, but um, for bombs, they're, they're pretty much just going to hit the ground. And the targets that we're aiming at are so big that we don't really can't, it doesn't really matter. These are interesting, however, I'm not exactly sure which is good or which is actually necessary. Engine tuning and maneuver, things that had give maneuverability would seem like a good idea, but eh, we'll save our money for right now. Servicing, now this is the part where I'm kind of eh about, because as you can see here, there's still premium ammo. This needs to go. It really does. However, uh, for the most part, there really doesn't seem to be all that much of an increase in terms of efficiency for ground attack aircraft, aside from armor-piercing incendiary. But, um, well, we can damage everything with machine gun fire, so it's a minor difference. However, just on inspection, this, need, this shit needs to get out of here. This, it, no. This is the one thing that I'm gonna say is absolutely bad and should not be in the game because, well, look at... Look at World of Tanks. No. So let's just stop. However, we do have some money now, so we can actually load some consumables. So let's see here. Automatic fire extinguisher. And we have first aid kits in the depot, so we have those. Do I set those on? Yeah, let's not automatically res resupply them because they actually do cost gold. But we don't have any gold, so it doesn't actually matter. So fuck it. And what else do we got here? Engine ventilation, and... Hmm. Ground verification. Interesting. We'll use those, and we have 30 of them. Actually, have a fairly large supply of them, so maybe opening the cans wasn't that big, wasn't that bad of an idea. And apparently, these are... Apparently, I have to buy those, but these are loaded, so what's going on here? I don't know. Okay, so, aircraft serviced. Alright, so... Let's hop into Tier 5 and see what changes. Okay, ME-210, heavy fighter, though honestly I'm going to be flying this as mostly a ground attack plane, because, well it is. But we have multi-role capability, I suppose. Heavy fighter basically means, for the uninitiated, really big thing that's supposed to hunt planes. Just sort of be a an air defense sort of fighter, whereas the interceptors are the lighter, faster things like your Spitfire, your ME-109, that kind of thing. Heavy fighters are basically just supposed to be flying sharks and to eat those things. However, they're not a very successful line of vehicles, mainly because they weren't fast enough to actually catch the things they were designed to kill. But what we do have in a video game is... Well, very overarmed planes. You are approaching the area of this isn't operations. this isn't an amazingly overarmed plane, but it's still a very scary looking plane. And it also has bombs, so at least we can do that. 
to military bases. These are, from what I from call, well, from what I recall, looking at the tutorials and the the, the reading material, these are V2 rocket sites. But let's see. Very very nice looking plane here. Honestly, it's given War Thunder's visual fidelity, at least in the plane models themselves, a run for their money. The damage models maybe not so much, but just on an just on the inspection of the models. Comparing them in two games, just on visual aspect, World of Warplanes is pretty close now. But, you know, War Thunder is still a, a sim game at its heart. Do, so, it's Let's still gonna roll. be... It's still gonna be a little weird to compare the two. But, see that factory down there below us? We want that factory. However, unfortunately... Apparently, I do not have a bomb sight. But I do have bombs. So, we're just gonna fly over here and... Drop our bombs. And then we will see the effect of bombs. As we turn away from the enemy. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Seems like our, uh, I, we didn't kill that guy, but our tail gunner is actually cracking away at things. Good. What the hell is that thing? It's twin engine, twin boom. I'm gonna say it's a, uh, oh, it's a lightning. Yep. Boy, that fucker's fast. However, he's not fast enough! Gotta pay attention, buddy. Okay, so... Our bombs are actually reloading... Apparently re reloading fairly quickly here. So, we're gonna continue playing the objective here, and we're just gonna fly away from the giant furball, since we do have defensive guns, which is... This is T. So we can't shoot at people behind us. Which is good. Very, very good. So now we're going to, uh... Clear out this airspace. Or try to. That's a Bue fighter. Oh boy. His tail gun might actually do some damage now in this game because it's an arcade game. It decides how much damage it wants to do. But this is the bonus of having a heavy fighter! Because we do do lots of damage. However, we've got someone on our ass. It's an AI. Uh oh, that's bad. Aha! Gunboated. However, unfortunately, our plane is kind of burning now. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure how to fix that. Apparently we're being shot at from behind us. It's the AA. Fuck it, son of a bitch. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna roll in here and actually try and take this shit out. Where's the main... Uh, avoid that, but where's the main... base? Where's the objective? We're looking for a rocket silo. I don't see one, though. That doesn't seem to be it, either. Alright, fine then. We'll just start dropping bombs on things. Hello, plane! Apparently, our bombs are also taking far longer- far- far longer to recharge than I thought. That's a problem. Apparently, our engine is recovered. Good. Mm. Okay. Do we have enough firepower to start tearing at ground targets even without our bombs? Which is good, you have a plane with lots of guns in the nose. It shouldn't really matter what class it is. The enemy is launching rockets at us from the military base. Take action! I'm trying to actually sort that out, buddy boy, but, uh, I don't see one. Well, the one over there, but I'm trying to get uh, get ours, but apparently... I don't know... I don't know where it is. Probably have to capture the base first. Okay. There is someone behind me. Where did he go? He is now gone. Okay, apparently I have my bombs again, so good. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll in here, drop that bomb over there, and then drop... Grade 5 Heavy Fighter, huh? See if there's anything... Whoa! Get away from my fucking plane! Uh oh. Oh, I'm gonna have some problems here. Also, I don't want to fly into the ground. Ah! Uh oh, I'm gonna die here. But I might take one of these fuckers with me. Yeah! Got him! 
Please repair. Please, please fix plane. Yes, fix, yes, fix plane. Yes, it is preparing very slowly. Oh, it is lag three. It is coffin. Fantastic. Yeah, you barrel roll out of the way, but this is an arcade game, buddy. Uh oh, bad! I'd like my guns to work. I'd like my guns to work. Yeah! Good! Self defense master. Yeah, I fuck up everything, so I gotta learn self defense once in a while. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh oh. That is a duck. I wanna remove the duck. No quacking! I didn't mean to fly into him, but oh well. I don't think I killed him either. He's still alive! Damn duck! I live to quack another day. Uh. Okay, so... Hmm. We're still doing fairly well, I think. At least on my per individual performance. However, our team is not doing so great in general. Alright, so... What we need to do is actually capture the damn base, which is what I'm gonna be playing- or trying to do here. The military base has helped, but it seems like this is the main base that really decides most things. So, uh... I just bomb out this factory completely. What the hell is behind me? Is AI and it knows what it's good for. It. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the most efficient way to pick this base apart, but I have no idea. Deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. What is behind me? That guy way the hell over there. These are all AI, I believe. Okay, so. Step it up. We're losing the battle. I'm trying, sir. All positions are captured by the enemy. See, we have a problem here in the fact that my team is pretty much unable to actually play the video game. Okay, so. There's someone above me. Actually, two people above me. There's a heavy storm here. Unable uh, to proceed. Yeah, the way that, that counter is moving up, that, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to win. Actually, I think we're going to lose right about now. And there's basically nothing I can do about that. Turn back. The enemy yeah. Force is too strong. Well, I tried. It's a team game, after all, but I'm getting justly rewarded, more or less. I am playing premium aircraft, but, you know... I'm- I'm trying, and I'm actually being entertained by it, but I'm just trying to figure out exactly how the hell I win the damn game. That's kind of the frustrating bit here, but, well, with playing a game that's actually entertaining, I'll figure it out. But... Yeah. This is fun. I actually want to figure it out. That's the thing. I actually want to play the game. Let's see here. We make... considerable amounts of money. And, uh, hmm. We do have a, a mission here, which does entitle us to a loot crate. So, um, hmm. While we didn't do top damage, that yuppie in the Spitfire Otter. Oh boy, a Redditor. Ha ha! I still know what you guys look like. But, uh, we still managed to do a lot. So, let's see. How? I would like to, I'd like to look at that, please. Or rather, I, I have to go in here, I suppose. What's in the box? Control Surface 2s, those are premium. So, yeah, collect prizes. They don't really do much for me, but yeah, sure, why not? It looks like if I want any of these bomber aircraft, aside from the Blenheim, I just have to outright spend money to buy them, which, well, I may? Eh, depends on how I feel. There's also a couple of premium aircraft that I want to get my hands on, it being the goofy-looking French planes. But now with the ME... 210 out of the way, I almost say 410, but now with the 210 out of the way, let's go look at the XP-77. I have absolutely no idea what this aircraft is, but I'm assuming it's made of wood, because it's a budget plane. As stated by the information, low-cost fighter developed by Bell Aircraft Corporation to address the shortage of light metal alloys used in, in aviation never entered service. Another special snowflake plane. But, so what can we put on this? It's obviously just a fighter, so we're going to be playing the fighter game. 
It does have it does have a, a Spano in it, so at least there's that. Kind of reminds me of the the French aircraft. I can't remember the ex the exact name of them, but you know what I mean. They kind of well, some of you know what I mean if you played War Thunder. Nose mounted Hispano, a couple of piddly machine guns to go along with it, but then again, there's 50 cals, so actually maybe not. So let's give this a try and see what fighter gameplay is like at rank five. I don't have any, you know, upgrades, but right now it doesn't seem like they matter all that much. I could be playing the game more hard, but I'll probably look around before I actually try and spec into that, I suppose. Try to figure out what I actually want. Oh, it's probably going to wind up being bummers because I'm just that kind of guy. But fighters are entertaining because it's an arcade game. Less frustration. You don't have the climbing wars of War Thunder where everybody's just kind of standing around wondering what the fuck to do. Or rather, staring around... Star staring at each other as they fly up to the moon and waiting for people to get bored and level off. This is an arcade game! Everybody just kind of flies around and shoots at each other. It's even more expendable in an arcade game because you can respawn! So... What's not the like here? So, we've got our plane here with our very long nose. And we got a nice, a nice island scenery here. Okay. So, where are we going today? Got lots of places we can go. You are approaching the front line. Uh, Off we go. Bit fire on our wing. Let's see if we can actually, actually do anything in terms of capturing a base on our own. Yes, yes. Engine overheated. Oh boy. Ah! There is a crosshair. Right, I, that's mouse wheel, though, not shift or anything like that. Or rather, a scope, I should say, but you know what I mean. Okay, got a rocket strike ahead of us. What does that do for the base, though? I'm trying to see what kind of damage corresponds to what kind of effect. But as of right now, I'm not really seeing... My actions directly correspond to anything, aside from me, my points going on. And now, evidently, we have, like, some control of the base. I don't know what's going on. Maybe if I clear the airspace, that'll help. However, that is a plane on my tail, and it hurts a lot. Yeah, fuck you. I may be apparently made of wood, but I'm maneuverable. The enemy is trying to capture the plant. Don't let them do it. That one Espano is kind of disappointing. These are boomerangs. We've taken control nice job. Of the, airfield. the AI crashed into each other. Excellent job on their part. Okay, so we've captured that, even though I have absolutely no idea exactly how the hell I'm actually doing any of this. Oh, so F is for that, huh? Right, we get to see the score screen here. We are not doing a whole lot because, well, we didn't really have a chance to do very much. So, apparently the enemy is attempting to capture this point. Let's see if we can break up the party, shall we? Uh-oh. That boost is very, very short. So, what do we got? Again, I'm not exactly sure what's capturing anything. That is a cruiser. Actually, no, that's a destroyer. Very large-looking destroyer, though. I think it's a Sims class. Pew 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 pew. Hey, look! I can actually damage ships with my machine guns and cannons. That's got one up on War Thunder. That is an AI, though. At least I can outmaneuver boomerangs. Damn, Australian reservists. The cannon firepower is somewhat overwhelming. Oh, well, underwhelming, though. But then again, I was kind of a... You know, I was kind of enjoying the Shakas lead wall that is the jet-powered I-15. Maybe I just have to stand in the point, and that works out? I have no idea, but apparently we've got a fighter up there. Yeah, we captured it. I'm not exactly sure what what if any of my actions are really doing, but okay, that's a fuck wolf. 
Oh, goodness. And his engine's out. He's gonna have fun being a glider. Eh, didn't get the kill, but I helped. Okay, so, with that out of the way, now we've got a... Pretty much flying towards the center point here. So I'm gonna try and gain some altitude. Even though arcade game, so it hardly matters, but you know, getting the jump on somebody first is, well, preferable. Oh, those are flat guns. Oh, goodness. And those are players. This could be complicated. Well, got him! Yeah, come back here, buddy boy. I don't want to run into my fucking teammates. I'm getting very, very, very close to that Spitfire. Mm -hmm. Got the kill. Good. Just roll in here and blow something up to help, but apparently that's, well, not exactly effective. The color palette for this is kind of goofy looking. It kind of honestly feels like I'm playing a Red Alert game, or uh, a Command & Conquer Generals game, which is fine by me, but it just feels kind of weird. Because this game is supposed to be, it's still supposed to be building itself as a photorealistic plane game, but this, this level of bloom just makes it look like a cartoon. I can bother the AA guns, but there's not really much I can do. But then again, yeah, I am a fighter. Mm -hmm. Watch the trees. Apparently there's a timer? For this, at least. Um... There are things that I can do damage to. But then again, there are also players in this zone. So this one might be leading to my frustration. That's a 410. Whoa! Ow. And that's why we don't go head on with a 410. Ow. See, he's got a lot of guns and also rockets. My 210 is funny looking, but not exactly him. What rank is he though? He's tier six. 210's tier four or tier five. So I suppose that's the advantage. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do we you do have over? we do have majority control, or at least somewhat majority control. So at least it looks like things are going well here. But well, surprise, surprise! At the higher tiers, things are going to be a little bit more spaced out. Hmm. But all in all, this is still very enjoyable to play. I mean, I'm still kind of wondering exactly what I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I play this optimally, but that's with every game, I suppose. You're always going to be trying to figure out exactly what the hell you should be doing, and if you're doing anything wrong. But it seems like what I should be doing is clearing the airspace of enemy fighters and just kind of leaving the ground targets. There's a heavy storm here. Unable to proceed. Return into base. Do you copy? Hmm. Okay. Got a few planes here. I'll leave that one down there, but let's try and get this one. That's a, oh, that's a Mustang. We want to kill him before he causes any trouble. You get your ass back here, Mustang. And there it is. All right, where's our next target? That guy over there, but this guy down here. It's like our Japan. Oh, actually, no, that's a Stuka. They look like Japanese roundels on the wingtips there, but they're actually just red wingtips. Okay, you flying coffin. You enjoy that kill? Good, because it's the last one you're gonna get. Or you can fly into the ground. The Come on, you son of a bitch. I can't outturn him. 
But we have the control point, at least. Turning, turning, turning. He's dead anyway. At least I forced him into that. That's... That is a... That, well, that's a lightning. Where'd he go? Ah, there it is. Remove lightning. My range is not that good, though. All right, then. There's that. Does this stop them from respawning at all? Apparently, it does. Hmm, okay, so the... So the storm warning actually stops all respawning. So there's a limited time for respawning, and then at a set moment, it actually starts to matter again. And then, well, it's all down to who's actually a better pilot at that point. Okay, so you got half and half, really. Okay, we don't want to head on the fucking duck, but we want to remove the duck. There's a lot of fucking planes here. Get away from my boats. You're trying to slow me. Ah! He's out slowing me. God damn it, duck. Okay, let's see if we can knock out the other engine. See if it gives us any bonus damage. We did. However, it didn't seem like it did very much damage, if any at all. Someone else is probably gonna pick up that kill. Nope, we got it. Oh, an IL-2, huh? All right, we can catch up to him pretty quickly. But we wanna be wary of that back machine gun, because he definitely does have one. Yeah, Hang but he's not there. shooting at us. Oh, well, well, we won anyway. How about I'm that? Proud of you, I'm assuming Head that's Confederate. On. Or supporting fire. Awarded for assisting allies at least four times in destroying aerial targets. Not bad. Flying Warrior Badge. Awarded for achieving maximum efficiency in completing the aircraft-specific mission Air Battle for Sectors. Hmm. Not exactly sure what that was, but we got the job done. Okay. All right, then. We seem to have actually figured out something. Apparently, I just have to sit in the control points, and then they tick over. I'm still not sure but we seem to be affecting the outcome of the battle by not being shit, so there's that! <laughs> hmm. All right. So. I didn't get top score, but uh, there's that Redditor again. Oh, well. He's actually in a probably prepared Spitfire, so we'll let him have that one. We didn't do too bad ourselves. Though we did get... We're only in third place on our team. However, yeah, we're still in the running here, and, well, we did actually carry the vast majority of our team, considering that we have more lower-scoring players than they do. Then again, we have more 2,000, so they're a little bit more spaced out, but you know what I mean. But okay. I'm impressed. This game is actually fun. I'm not exactly sure how far I can push this in terms of basically learning the game so far that I can run it, more or less, just being extraordinarily efficient at it. But this is definitely not the World of Warplanes that I hated and everyone else more or less entirely hated and derided and left in the gutter. This is a new game, and hmm, I'm quite excited for this. I'm not exactly sure what the future may hold for me playing this game, but, uh, well, as you can see here, there are quite a lot of planes that we have here, and a, quite a f number of planes that even War Thunder will not go near. Wargaming is a little bit more loose with the paper aircraft. So, well, there's a lot to do. However, I will probably be buying one of these things. This thing interests me, as well as the, the other tier 5 variant. It's actually on sale right now for fairly cheap, so I might actually go pick that up, and that'll probably be the next video you see out of me. But, there's a lot to do in this, this brave new wild blue yonder of a game. But for now, I think I'm going to call it a day. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. It might even be in World of Warplanes again. Holy shit, I'm going to have to get used to saying that. <laughs>